when you as a project director are facing a major modernization project. It is not an IT project. It is a monumental undertaking. This is not something that they do day to day. System modernization is typically a once in a lifetime event. They're worried that they're gonna get technology, but it's not going to solve their business problems. So here at Maximus, we bring the experience that helps bridge that divide between technology and the program. That takes the mystery out of modernization, allowing the programs to focus on service delivery improvements and customer service. We're there with you, not just at the beginning of a project. We certainly add value throughout the whole project life cycle. The three key things that our team bring to the table is that we listen, what's their journey, what their needs are. We also help bridge that program tech divide. And finally, changing the mindset towards more of a program-centric mindset. What we're really good about is listening to the client tell us what they really want to achieve. We facilitate a lot of discussion around what they need, what the priorities are, what's driving this project. And then changing our services to the program improvement. And that really serves as the foundation for how we do the rest of our work. We want to make sure we understand those pain points for every level of the agency, whether you're the end user or whether you're the senior manager of the intake division, and understanding what your pain points are. What does a worker do on a day-to-day -day basis? We need to document that and then build out a whole set of, of requirements. We then validate with the client as well. So that when they get a system, it's a well-rounded system that works for everybody. Part of the way we do that is having had the experience of being the client. I was managing a child support office. They took me out of my office and put me over a $120 million project. We know that this is what you're gonna encounter. We know that you're gonna have this political pressure. There's always that moment in a project when you know that you've become that trusted advisor. They see the value that you're bringing to them in terms of your expertise. Between the tech and the program side, you're speaking two different languages. Without the program needs, you don't know what you're gonna be producing. And the tech folks, they're not steeped in the language of programs and the policies and the processes. What we try to do is communicate the benefits to the program, but also the benefit to IT for having these enhancements. We bring everybody to the table and we air their differences. We were expecting the meeting to, to potentially be a little bit tense. So we had these two groups. We had an IT side, and then we had the program side, and finite amount of money, and they were having trouble prioritizing what changes made the most sense. And we actually built this prioritization process. We were able to rank what the top priorities should be. And we had gotten them to a point where they saw how they could come together. They combined their resources and took that top 10, and that's what they moved forward. The biggest thing is getting people to understand that the program doesn't live to support IT, but the IT lives to support the program. Out of any kind of effort, figure out how the program can benefit. Some of those interactions with the client lead us to identify what we call low-hanging fruit. Small initiatives really help the staff buy into this whole concept of modernization. It's building automation, it's building tool sets or checklists that have a high impact for a little bit of effort. If we help them with those back office tasks, whether it's uploading an image from their desk or whether the client can submit it electronically, if we can make that better, it means that that person in the clinic is able to sit across from that participant and do the job that they are there to do. To me, that's what innovation is. Checking off not just the box of the new technology, but checking off the box of how's it help my people? How's it help my community? How's it help the staff that I manage every day? If you can automate something that was previously manual, you are starting to free up resources. 
And those resources roll up to more support for the director, more support for the program, more support for participants. Now we know that the technology is meeting the program and this date is able to serve the clients as they intended. For that mother who's living in a motel with her children, trying to figure out how she can keep a roof over their head and food in their stomachs. It makes you understand why the program is so important. I've had the opportunity to hold their babies while they sign some paperwork and know that what I'm doing is helping those babies. This is who I want to help. This is the reason I'm creating that deliverable, is for this person who's in front of me. Maximus offers services throughout the modernization life cycle, including planning support and implementation support for health and human service customers nationwide.